guys, it's Stu here with Travel Season. Today I'm gonna to do a tour of our trailer for you guys to see. We have a 2021 Forest River Surveyor Legend 296 QBLE. It's a lot to remember. Uh, this is a 35 foot long trailer. It's a travel trailer, so we tow it with our F-250 truck. This video is probably gonna be beneficial to people interested in purchasing a Surveyor Legend or a similar model, or for anybody that just wants to see what the layout of our trailer is like and how we live our daily lives on the road. <laughs> so come on, let's start the tour. So here's what the outside of our trailer looks like. As I said before, it's a 35 foot long travel trailer, double axle. We've got two sets of doors on this side. One's to the bedroom and this one takes you to the main area with the kitchen and the office space. This is an outdoor kitchen space here. Spare tire on the back, we got our little travel season logo. And we have that guy for whenever we don't have sewage or water hookups, so we need to run to the dump station with that. This is just some extra storage down here. You can access this from inside the trailer as well. On this side of the trailer, we have our one slide out, which is a pretty big slide out. We've got our electric hookups there. Sewage down here. Water line over here. The gray and black tanks are right there. And there's an outdoor shower too. Here's our slide out again. And then over here we've got some pass-through storage where we keep our supplies for the water and sewer. The front we've got our connector here that connects to the trailer. It's automatic. Got our propane. Got a really nice window in the front where our bedroom is. That's one of my favorite things about this trailer. Here's our storage again. There's a spot to hook up to solar. Got our stabilizers. All right, let's start the tour inside. Hello. Say welcome to our trailer. Okay, welcome inside. In the back here. Nate's working very hard on his computer. That he just opened. <laughs> Do you want to tell us a little bit about this room? We made some modifications to this room. No. Sure. Uh, well, originally this was a big bunk house, I think is what they usually call it. A bunk room. Uh, so there was bunk here, bunk here. Obviously those are still there. We removed uh, the bedding off this one. We're just kind of using it for storage for stuff. Um, but then there was a upper bunk here and an upper bunk here and removing those really opened up the room a lot yeah and then this was a like dresser built-in dresser area and uh with drawers down there that i removed just so i had space for my feet um it's gonna put a board and kind of finish that off so it looked a little nicer but uh, I've been a little lazy with it. <laughs> and then added this uh, nice keyboard tray. That is very and nice. have this nice tall chair. Yep. So it very fits perfectly. Ergonomically friendly workstation for yep. every day when you have to work. And then behind here is our cellular modem, which is what's been giving us internet for this whole trip. Very so, important. Can't okay. do your work without access to the internet. AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. Very good. And Popo Edge would like to tell you about his dinner times. This is where he eats his dinner times. Yeah, but you already got your dinner times for breakfast and you'll get dinner times for dinner 
in a few hours. This is our seating area to watch TV, relaxation spot, I guess. It's not the most comfortable leather couch. It came with the trailer, but it's not terrible. It has one, storage yeah, so one nice thing about this is we have storage underneath, and Zedge always likes to smell under there for some reason. We just have some blankets, pillows, and our TV under there, and a little stand to eat on. <laughs> And this thing can actually just pop out flat and turn into a sleeping space for somebody. They would have to kind of curl up a little bit. Uh, or you could just lay down and watch a movie that way. That's why we have all those extra pillows. We have some really big windows. I love the big windows here in the slide out. And then we have our dinette area there. I guess I should turn right around from our seating area. I'll sit down so you can see what it's like. We have a 32 inch TV spot there when we don't use the TV that often when we travel, but there's a spot for it there. We also have pantry, food storage, or whatever storage you would like right here. Both sides, no edge, no. Get back. <laughs> Up here we have the control panel, I guess. <laughs> What's that, is that what it's called? Yeah. And we can adjust our lighting, turn off the porch light, extend the awning, extend the slide out. We keep our keys up there, just keeps it convenient. We have a speaker system for the trailer for inside and outside. And right now the TV area is just being used to store Zedge's treats and toys. <laughs> Down here we have I don't know what this is supposed to be for, but we use it to hold plastic bags. <laughs> and there's our fuse, fuses, what's that, what's that thing called? Fuses and breakers. Fuses and breakers. If we overdo the electric, that pops one of the switches and we have to fix it, which happens occasionally when we use too many electrical things. And right here we have a space heater, which is a new purchase which we are very happy with. Yeah. It's nice because it runs off of electric. We have a furnace system in the trailer that uses propane, but when you're staying at a site that has electrical hookups, it makes sense to use the electric for heating since you already are paying for electric. Over here we have the refrigerator and freezer, which is a pretty good size. Here's what the inside looks like. Pretty decent amount of storage. And then the freezer. We just use those little ice cube trays for our ice. Keep some stuff in there as well. Why is there a ginger ale in the freezer? I do not know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's our microwave. It's a small microwave. I think most trailer microwaves are kind of small but it's it works works pretty good we've got a light and a fan above the stove top here we have propane stove top which works great no complaints there love the stove top the oven is another story so let's get out of the way the oven is a little bit harder to turn on. You have to use these. So these three go for the stove top and this one goes for the oven. And you have to like push it in, turn it to the flame and click the ignite thing. <laughs> and it doesn't always work right away. So it's a little tricky to get the oven started. And then once it starts, all of the fire flame for heating it is down here. So it's not the most Evenly yeah, evenly distributed heat in this oven. It tends to, like if you have a pizza cooking in here, it'll like burn the bottom of your pizza and the top of your pizza will still be half frozen. So yeah. it's, not, it's, not that bad. it's not that bad, but you need to, um, yeah, I, I, not the best oven. <laughs> Maybe that's all tra travel trailer ovens. This is our first travel trailer we ever owned. So we were learning everything as we went. If you guys are super experienced travel trailer 
shoppers and owners and you have any advice leave the comment for us <laughs> this is our toaster oven this is another recent purchase after having this trailer for about one year um, we tried using the oven to toast bread and stuff like that and it wasn't working out so we're like we're just gonna get a toaster oven and the toaster oven works really nice for baking pizza baking bagels you know toasting bagels heating up food so we really use the toaster oven more than the oven up here we've got more storage we've got our pantry in here where we keep some vegetables and our bread products snacks rice rice Pastas. and these shelves are also a new purchase nate had this very good idea before we were kind of just like stockpiling things in here and then we bought this for like $12 at Walmart and it's been fantastic. It's metal, so it's pretty sturdy. And we can drive with this in here and it just keeps things from shifting more. It's a little bit better for us. Got our cute little salt and pepper shakers there. And we've got our oven mitt up here. This is just one of those 3M hooks. And the same thing with our paper towel roll. This is just one of those like 3M hooks. So no drilling needed for that. We've got a pretty nice sized sink in here. Um, one thing I do not like about this sink is that when you're washing your hands or you're washing dishes, the sink is shallow and there's this lip here and a little bit of space right here. So water accumulates and sits right here. So every time you do the dishes, water will get there and you will need to use a, a towel or something to wipe that down and dry it so that it doesn't get yucky. We've got a little more storage down here. This one we just keep um, plastic baggies, napkins, scissors, like condiments, that kind of stuff. Here we keep our silverware and plastic wrap, foil. And then down here we keep our other utensils, little strainers. We like these pop-up things a lot because they're great for storage space. Bigger. We have the same thing with our measuring cups. They pop flat so that they're easier to store. We bought this little trash can. I think it holds like eight gallons. And now we're to my workstation here slash the dinette area. So we have lots of storage over here. Sometimes we eat breakfast here. If I'm working on a painting like today, I will put this tablecloth down, I put my studio lighting up, and I'll just sit here and work on an oil painting. I reference the image on my laptop and then I work on the painting. Keep my oil paints right there. Usually just sit right here. Zedge loves it under here. <laughs> it's like his little den. And he also loves walking and <laughs> knocking the computer charging cable out of my computer and this seat both of these seats come up you can take that cushion off and then there's a little slat under it and this is where i store all of my painting supplies these are paintings i'm working on or just finished there's some of my other materials that i need for painting all kept under there And if you want, you can also access it this way, but you can only get to the stuff in the front this way. And under here, the same thing, this comes off. I'm not gonna take that off right now because this one's kind of a nightmare. And under this chair, we keep our first aid kit, all of our uh, backpacking gear, all that fun stuff, bear spray. And that's really, about it for the kitchen area we also really like that these lights can just pop off pop on whenever you want a little bit less lighting or a little bit more lighting now let's look at the bathroom so we have these doors oops that just slide closed so we love that about this trailer we have a lot of privacy every morning nate has to wake up at 7 a.m eastern time he has to be working so he gets up before 5 a.m here in mountain time so he wakes up very early and just 
closes these doors and goes to work in the back room and I don't hear him at all. And I sleep in a little bit later than that. <laughs> uh, we have these 3M hooks right here to hold our towels. Haven't had any issues with those either. Those are pretty cheap. And then for the shower, this is just the shower curtain that came with the trailer. I thought I was going to replace this, but we're probably just gonna let it stay. We're it does the job. And this is great for extra storage. This is all my stuff, my hair stuff, extra little makeup things and Q-tips. We've got a nice skylight right up there. Looks a little dirty. <laughs> got our shower head which is nice so you can remove it. This is the shower head that came with the trailer. It started to have a tiny leak. You can see it's just barely dripping there. Um, so we have a replacement. We just have to put the new one on. It lasted about a year. We have hot and cold. With our hot water tank, we can get about five minutes of hot water. And if you Put the propane water heater on you get some additional time for hot water um but another thing we thought was clever is that we put zedge's dog bowl in here zedge come get some water get some water and as you can see he's a very sloppy water drinker so by putting his water bowl in the shower we have <laughs> eliminated water getting all over the floor. So we like, we think that we're clever for that one, so. <laughs> Toilet that has just like a little push, kick to flush, a little shower mat there. And in this area, we have a little storage over here. Just keep our, I, our RV stuff, my makeup, cute little window. And then we've got a vent and a window in the bathroom as well, the ceiling. And the sink here is smaller than the sink in the kitchen, but it's a little deeper maybe. And under here we keep our towels, toilet paper, and maybe a little bit of cleaning supplies too. We have more space for your toiletries. And we just keep some tissues up there because the dog eats the tissues. And we don't have a toilet paper roll holder, we just Put it right there and whenever we leave we put the toilet paper up here so that the dog cannot eat the toilet paper <laughs> and that brings us to the last room of the trailer welcome to the bedroom this is a very comfy cozy spot this is like my little nest i just snuggle up in all the blankets and pillows and go to sleep and one of my favorite things about this trailer is this window because i can just wake up and see if it's a cloudy day, a rainy day, or a sunny day. And if it's a sunny day, it's gonna be a good day. Got a pretty good view from this spot. We also have a little vent up above here. Got a nice window to the side. We've got some storage for clothes up above the bed. We've got storage over here we just keep our hoodies and some charging devices over there we've got those clicky lights again and we both have a closet which is nice this actually is pretty good amount of space when we go on trips like this i really just wear yoga pants hoodies and workout clothes so I don't really need that many clothes. <laughs> Another drawer for some clothes. And then on this side of the bed, I just keep more of my art supplies, paintings that I'm working on, paintings that are done, and in boxes that need to ship out to clients. We keep our laundry right here in this little bag. Keep my shoes right there. And then on Nate's side, he kind of just keeps his dirty clothes over there and then gives them to me on laundry day. And then over here, we've got a hookup for a TV. If you want to put a little TV back here, you can. We just put our National Park scratch off map. Just coming along. And that's basically it. Oh, I guess I could show you out this window, out this door. That's it for the 
trailer tour. We really like the space. It's a lot of space. It's more than we need, actually. Um, we are very comfortable when we make it to a place. We have a lot of privacy because of the doors that separate from each other. Um, but it's a little bit big to take across the country, especially traveling in the northeast part of the U.S. The roads are a little bit trickier to navigate with a 35 foot long trailer. It's a little bit tricky getting into gas stations when we're driving this thing around. We have to pre-plan out all of our gas stations before we go somewhere. Um, it's just like making sure the clearance is okay. There's enough like drivable space. Like we have enough turn radius and stuff like that. So we're actually planning to downgrade. We've had this trailer for only a year. Um, but we're realizing that we don't need this much space. <laughs> so we are planning to downgrade to a under 30 foot trailer. We're hoping for like a 25 foot, but we don't know exactly what we're going to get yet. We're kind of looking around. If you guys have any recommendations for trailers for us, you could leave a comment below the video and let us know some great ones out there right now. We both really like the big windows. We want a big window in the back of the next trailer and we want a space where both of us can work during the day. So if you're looking at a similar model or you are planning to buy a trailer just like this one and you have a question for us, then you could leave a comment below this video and I'll get back to you and answer it to the best of my abilities. Uh, like I said, this is the first trailer that we've owned. Uh, so we were kind of figuring out all the kinks as we went, but hey, sometimes that's the best way to learn, right? Uh, so thanks for watching guys. Have a great day and happy travels. Bye-bye.